Hi guys, welcome to another maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to look at the area of a triangle. And before we start, I'd just like to introduce a new competition that we're doing to win £250 each month starting in January. Full details on how to enter will be explained at the end of the video, so make sure you watch the whole video right through to the end. Now if we take a quick overview, the area of a triangle at national 5 is no longer the formula A equals a half times the breadth times the height. This new formula that we're going to see accounts for non-right-angled triangles. And the formula is as follows. So if we have a triangle with vertices P, Q and R, and we're going to label each length small a, b and c. Now this corresponds to this formula. The new formula becomes a equals a half times small a times small b multiplied by sine capital C. Now the small letters indicate the lengths and the capital letters indicate an angle. I will put a link in the description on how to use the sine and the cosine rule because the, the process is very similar to this. And the one condition that we have is that whatever length c is, small c, the opposite angle is capital C. Now the values of a and b, it doesn't matter which one is which. What is important is that you get the c round the correct way. And we'll see how we do this in an example. So question one gives us this triangle and it asks us to calculate the area of this triangle ABC with the length of AC being 13 centimetres, BC 15 centimetres and the angle in between is 83 degrees. So we'll start off by writing down the formula and we need to label our points, so small a, small b and small c. And then the angle being 83 degrees, that must be capital C. Now we could label the angle first, we could label the 83 as capital C, which means this would be small c and then a and b are interchangeable, you don't have to... You know, this could be A and this could be B. It doesn't matter which way it round it is. What is important is that this 83 is capital C, meaning that this is small c. Once we have it labelled, all we have to do is substitute in the values and plug the numbers into the calculator. So a half times 13 times 15 will give us 97.5. If we multiply this by sine 83, that will give us a total area of 96.77 centimetres squared. And don't forget your units with these questions because they can be picky in the exam and potentially you could lose a full mark for forgetting your units. So question two says, find the length of DF if the area of the triangle is 205 square centimetres. So this one is working backwards. So we're given the area and we need to work out a length. So again, the first step is to always write down the formula. And that way we can work out and put in the information that we have and the information that we need to find. So if we label the triangle again with A being 24, X being B, and C being the length of EF. Now again, that has to be the case because the 72 is the capital C and the line directly across from the angle is small c. So when we plug these values into this equation, we will replace the B with X. And we'll replace the A this time, the capital A, with 205. When we have this plugged in, it is just a case of rearrange and change the subject to the formula for X. So if we do 24 times a half is 12, multiplied by X times sine 72. Now there is lots of different ways that you can do this. You can completely simplify the right hand side and then bring it over, or you can bring it all over and then work it out using the calculator in a one -er. So I'm just gonna rewrite this the other way, having worked out what sine 72 times 12 is, which will give us 11.412. Then if we do 
205 divided by that will give us 17.96 and we'll round this to 18 centimetres because all our other units are to the nearest whole number. So the length of DF is 18 centimetres. And that's how you would go about solving the area of a triangle. Now it is your turn, so in order to enter the £250 draw each month starting in January, all you have to do is answer this question correctly and make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and then comment your answer on the video below. Now only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the draw. So this one here says calculate the area of the rhombus where each side is 8 centimetres and the angle XYZ is 140 degrees. Now using the same process as either example 1 or example 2, you will be able to calculate the area of the rhombus. Now the clue is to use the dashed red line to indicate that there is a line of symmetry here. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below. Make sure to include your answer to the question and we'll see you in the next video.